So we run a portal up here and ah! I killed it. Animal King, City of Cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. And on that note, hey everyone, this is Sonic Boom with Let's Players from Nowhere back again with another episode of Portal 2. In the last episode, we woke up in this weird facility and met a little round helper who told us to look for a gun that makes holes. And so now we, in this episode... Oh, there he is again. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it, though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go have a quick look? Yep, in this episode, we're going to be Sorry, no, go on, just getting it. Whoa! Ugh, the lag. Jeez. Can you see the portal gun? Follow. So, are you alive? No, I am not alive. Disregard this voice, I'm not alive. Okay, so you know. Okay. Okay. This is the handheld portal device. Last episode, when I said we'd be able to make our own portals, this is exactly what I was talking about. Just right click and left click. And with this, you can shoot your own blue portals, which will let you travel through the pre-made orange ones. Okay, so this is where the game gets really interesting. It's not just going to have you, obviously, just going through pre-made portals the whole time. Now you have to kind of carve your own path. So... Let's head Sonic down here. Emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military <coughs> androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots. Okay, that's Share. good. So there. Wait. I thought I should mention right over there, you can actually see your character. You can't actually see her normally. You have to look at her. Yes. You're playing as a girl. You have to. Look at her through portals if you want to see her. So, your name is Chell, and if you feel yeah. that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future amateur science entitlement associate will initiate right. the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. So, yeah. Now that we have this portal gun, the puzzles are going to get a lot more interesting. And, um, for the record, I think later on I'm going to try and edit out these loading screens, but I'll, I'll try, but if it doesn't happen, then yeah. So, let's just wait it out. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed. Smooth jazz! Three, yay! Two, one. Uh oh. No, the smooth jazz. Okay, so as you can see, this button opens the exit, but when you step off of it, it's gone. We have an orange portal right here and a cube down there. So what we want to do is just shoot a portal and grab the cube and set it down. Not too hard at all. <coughs> Alright, so here we have test chamber four. Again, just cube on button. And I believe this is a test chamber from the original portal. I'm not exactly certain on that, but I know that they reused some of the old test chambers early on. So what you're going to want to do is shoot a portal down there to grab that, and then just portal over there to get the other cube, and set them both on the button. 
to open the door. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Okay. So we want a portal up here, and ah! I killed it. Okay, whatever. Um, so heading through here, there's actually something interesting if you head up these steps. You don't have to go through here, but all kinds of weird scribbles on the wall, which I'll get into these a little more later, but for now, let's just continue on. Whoa, the lag, the lag! If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Alright, so here there are several new hazards. We have cube droppers, which will, as the name implies, drop cubes. You can be smacked in the head with these cubes, apparently. But the main thing of worry is the toxic water that you can fall into, which, as, it, as you would have guessed, kills you brutally. Alright, so we want to press this button. And we can see a cube over there. Just portal that through. Set it down. And this is where the test gets... This is where you see that this all isn't just the fun and games. We press that there. Pops through there. And if we press... Ugh! No! Almost died on. Yeah. Alright, so, as I was saying, if you press this button, this little thing here lifts up. So, what you want to do is press this button to get a cube and then press the lift to block it. Grab the cube, bring it up and around, and set it down. Well done. Pretty simple. The Richmond Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All amateur science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. Well, that's thoughtful. Alright. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. Alright, so, to quote the first game, Momentums can serve through portals. Speedy thing goes in, speedy thing goes out. Right here it just says you have to launch yourself through the portals. So, to demonstrate this, I'll place a portal right here and... Whee! <coughs> then pop one right under there. No, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall! Gonna have to do this a few times. Whoa! Where did it go now? And one more time. And there we go. Just place it on the. If you are a non employee who has discovered this facility above the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future. Woo. And the future starts with you. Hear that, guys? I am the future. So, now, instead of placing the portal where we fall, we get to control where we launch from, which definitely makes the puzzle a little more challenging, to say the least. But still, nothing too hard yet. Fall through here. Ah. Um, let's see. Don't remember this test chamber quite as well as I probably should. Um, I think we do that. Yep. Yeah, I think this is it. Fall through here, and then launch ourselves over here. Ow! Put it 
down here. And now we have yet another new platform. Fall, fall on through. Whoa, the lag. Lag return. Good work getting this far. Get your starter. That's it. If you are simple minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. Gotcha. Alright, so I think we're going to end the video off here. Next time on Portal 2, we'll continue using our new portal gun to try and make our way out of this place. See you guys then.